Hello everybody, it's the new moon in Cancer. What does that mean for us? What can we do during this time? I go into a little bit of detail in this video on what this new moon in Cancer provides for us at this time and give you some ideas perhaps on what it is you can work with during this time. Hey girl. Hello everybody. So let's get into this video. It is the new moon in Cancer while also being in Cancer season. Ooh, what a delicious pairing, don't you think? The new moon represents new beginnings. This is the time for setting the intention on what it is that you would like to complete during this next lunar cycle or even long term, right? If you want to set those long term goals, this is the perfect time to utilize any type of ritual work, any type of occult work. Focus on the new moon energies with trying to set the intention attention on what it is that you want to start building up, what it is that you want to start growing. And just like with everything with the lunar cycle, the attributes that the moon is exuding is also going to come through the filter of the zodiac sign as I like to see it, that it's in at the current time. So right now it's in Cancer. What does this mean? This means that we are going to be really focusing inwards on our energy. During this time, you guys may, may feel as if it's more important right now. Apparently Tulip feels like it's important to do something honey. <laughs> Important right now for you to be nesting, really trying to get involved with your emotions. What I want you guys to be really focusing on at this time is really being protective of your energy at this time. You're going to be feeling a little bit more vulnerable during this time naturally as you start releasing these emotions. And so at this time, some people may feel gravitated towards you because they see you in a more vulnerable state and they just want to have a little bit of peace of that naturally. So at this time to really make Make it an effort to protect your energies and to allow yourself to feel the emotions that you're feeling. Some of you guys may be going through like a little bit of mini uh, life crisis, quarter life crises at this time, midlife crises. This is also just because you're going to be thinking about the bigger picture on things and being thinking about where you just are going in the long term. This is normal. Just do not allow this to really uh, become into a self-deprecating -dep nature at this time where you're being overtly critical on yourself. Also, at this time, the new moon is going to be in sectile with Uranus. What this means is you're really going to be, at this time, develop developing really good self-care habits. Thinking about what you can do to make yourself feel more whole. Some of you guys may be thinking of developing a new skincare routine, exercising, for example, as well. Some of you guys may be looking into becoming a vegetarian or a vegan. Adopting healthier mindsets that you're thinking in terms of the long term. You're not really at this point thinking about what will immediately feel good to you. You're really thinking about what you're trying to grow, what it is that you're trying to blossom in your home environment to bring you further stability. Venus squaring Uranus as well. This is going to be a time I do feel as if I need to warn y'all about when it comes to the relationships in your life, your family, your work, your friends, all these, all the relationships, grow those connections rather than allowing it to defeat you. This almost borderline explosive energy as we might I might want to call this or very confrontational rather I would say this could be a very opportune time of uh, really deepening those connections. It's one of those times where it's like it's through your most brutal fights or arguments with people, that's how you become even closer to them. If the connection or if the relationship makes it through that fighting period. Also complementing this very confrontational energy that we have going on, we also have Venus conjuncting Mars, which means this is a very good time for those that are single or just trying to be noticed and be seen by the public view. This is a very very good time for you to be bold and put your, putting yourself out there at this time. This is a very good time. This really, this is an opportune time of where anyone who is feeling very extroverted, very bold, very uh, look at me, here I am right now. Those are going to be the people that really build and really create potential very powerful connections, whether that's for love, whether that's for business, whether that's just for finding people that are in your tribe, right? Your vibe attracts your tribe. With all this going on with the planets, I want you to think of this time as where you're going through a heavy cleansing period. You know, we've gone through this heavy time of where we've been really going inwardly, really uh, doing a lot of us have been doing a lot of shadow work and after going through just such a rough period with mercury retrograde recently we're seeking more we're craving really more stability in our lives and the thing 
things that may not be necessarily flashy, but it's stuff that feels good to us, right? You know, and it's all about the buildup process. Again, at this time, I want to suggest for you guys to be thinking the long term when it comes to your ritual work. The crystal I would suggest for most people to be working with at this time would be rose quartz. Rose quartz is the perfect one for those that are even just working on their self-love, right? And also just overall really good for just opening up your heart chakra. I personally like to see it as and opening you up more to the idea of love and attracting more love into your life. I feel like it's important for me to note as well, while I will never tell someone to do a love spell on someone in specific, I will tell people who will do rituals rather to bring in people that are like their soul tribe, right? Your soul mates, whatever you just subscribe it as, right? If you're trying to bring in higher vibrational people, this is the perfect time to do a ritual of that nature uh, by including that rose quartz by doing something on the new moon because at this time, this would be setting the foundation of bringing people into your life that would really help you out in the long term. These would be people bringing in people that would not only bring forth that stability, but it would be someone that you could grow with and that would be able to keep up with your growth if you've been finding that you've been outgrowing a lot of connections in your life this would be the time to really bring in some people that can keep up with you i also just want to express my love to all of you guys let me know if you guys are going to be doing a ritual on the new moon if you are let me know what you guys are going to be working on if you feel open to doing that for me personally i'm going to be working with lord rossi air and doing a little special ritual with him at this time uh yeah i'm really excited about that and yeah thank you guys so much for allowing me to connect with you guys for a little bit i hope you guys have a little bit of a under better understanding of what's going on at this time if you'd like me to do more uh moon ritual videos or just moon videos in general let me know thank you so much for allowing me the opportunity of connecting with you guys i love you so much